Did LeBron James just end his career? For the past few days, LeBron James has been in the news, but this time it isn't for breaking records or scoring crazy points. In the same vein, it isn't about the currently injured star returning back to the pitch. James has been in the news for a deleted Twitter post that called for justice for the death of Makia Bryant, a 16-year-old teenager who was shot dead by an Ohio police officer. In a series of tweets from analysts, politicians, fans, and even other basketball players, James has come under fire, with many suggesting that the star should be rightly punished for his actions. All of these have led to speculations that this could be the end of LeBron James' career as we know it. The player will be returning to action very soon, and all of these might be behind him sooner than we expect, or they could destroy the career of the NBA legend as we have come to know it. Is this enough to destroy everything James has worked for? Will LeBron James remain one of America's most favorite athletes after this? In this video, we will share with you everything you need to know about his deleted tweet and what this could mean for his career. Welcome to Courtside, your one-stop channel for every buzzing NBA news, rumors, and game analysis. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share this video with your pals. Everything you should know about LeBron James' tweet. All of these started when LeBron James made a tweet about the police officer who was responsible for shooting Bryant, a 16-year-old black American who was involved in a knife fight where she appeared to attack two other people in Ohio. It was reported that the cops had been called to keep the situation of a woman armed with a knife under control. As the incident unfolded, the police officer present, Nicholas Reardon, shot and killed the woman. Unfortunately, the shooting happened on April 20th, just a few days after Derek Chauvin was convicted of murder for the death of George Floyd. Condemning the situation, James took to Twitter to write alongside a picture of Nicholas Reardon, your next hashtag accountability. And right beside this tweet was the emoji of an hourglass. This was meant to symbolize that time was running out for the police officer and his act. It should be noted that LeBron James had first used the word accountability on his Twitter account after the guilty verdict was passed in the George Floyd trial. However, after a few hours, the 36-year-old star took down the tweet and he wrote that the tweet was being used to create more hate. He said in two tweets, anger doesn't do any of us any good and that includes myself. Gathering all the facts and educating does though. My anger still is here for what happened to that little girl. My sympathy for her family and may justice prevail. I'm so damn tired of seeing black people killed by police. I took the tweet down because it's being used to create more hate. This isn't about one officer, it's about the entire system, and they always use our words to create more racism. I'm so desperate for more accountability. Almost immediately, the internet went crazy with backlash, especially on social media. Several fans first called for sponsors to stop working with him after his tweet, and some others suggested that the anticipated Space Jam A New Legacy should suffer a national boycott. Some fans further asked that he should be removed from playing the leading role. For instance, Mark Westman wrote on Twitter, LeBron James' major sponsors are Nike, Walmart, Beats, Pepsi, and General Motors. I will be boycotting all of these until they stop supporting LeBron James. Some members of the Congress have also voiced their displeasure at the tweet of the NBA star. One of the most prominent responses came from Republican Senator Tom Cotton, who termed the tweet as dangerous and asked Twitter and NBA if they were fine with it. LeBron James is inciting violence against an Ohio police officer, Cotton tweeted. This is disgraceful and dangerous. Is the NBA okay with this? Is Twitter? Senator Ted Cruz, another Republican senator, mentioned that the tweet was irresponsible in an interview with Fox News. He said the left consistently goes after attacks and demonizes police officers and they do so often before the facts are known, often before there is any evidence of what happened, but their immediate reaction, whenever there is an incident, is that the police officer is in the wrong, the police officer is the villain. And in this instance, your next could certainly be interpreted by some even as a call for violence. I think it was a grossly irresponsible message for LeBron James to send out. By any measure, it was a volatile situation, and that Bryant was wielding a knife, was violent, and appeared to be threatening the lives of others. It may well be on an investigation that this police officer saved the life of a potential victim of a knife attack, and we shouldn't jump to conclusions. There needs to be an investigation. Anytime there is a shooting that takes someone's life, the facts should be determined, but the left doesn't care about the facts. They care about demonizing and attacking law enforcement, and I think it's wrong. On April 26th, former President Donald Trump also took a shot at the four-time NBA champion. In a statement the former president released, he told James to focus on basketball and not to try to destroy the NBA. Trump made this statement because the NBA recorded its lowest television ratings in the history of the league. Subsequently, Trump called the player racist and added that his rants are enough to tear the country apart. 
And if you didn't know, this isn't the first time Trump will be taking shots at LeBron James. While he served as president, he used his Twitter account to take countless shots at the Lakers star. James, on the other hand, often avoided replying to him, especially during the lead up to the election that displaced the former president. Even though LeBron James has taken time to explain his intentions and why he took down the tweet, it appears as if a major part of America isn't ready to forgive him. Also, a police officer, Dion Joseph, posted an open letter to the basketball star. The officer had worked with the Los Angeles Police Department for 24 years, and in his letter, he revealed that he used to be so much like LeBron James. He said, I did not want to be a police officer at all. Being young and African-American growing up in the late 80s and 90s, which were very violent and turbulent times, I thought that the police were basically our natural enemy. It's almost like a rite of passage. If you are African-American, you have to hate the police. The police officer argued that the entire issue was born out of miscommunication. He urged that tribalism be stopped and asked that we also learn not to dehumanize others. The officer asked that both men, James and Nicholas Reardon, sit down and discuss the subject. However, several people, including civil rights attorney Leo Terrell, have suggested that LeBron James will not sit with the police officer involved because this would destroy the narrative the star has pushed since the beginning of all of this. Doug Gottlieb also had something to say, especially to LeBron James and the NBA. He argued that the player should simply have said he was wrong rather than make an attempt at vigilantism. He further mentioned that the player had 49.6 million followers, and it was very easy for people to read extra meanings to tweets like that. Since the case is still very much under investigation, and body cam has also shown that the officer tried to stop another woman from getting murdered by Bryant, Doug has argued that LeBron overreacted and the NBA should punish him for that. In other news, Twitter has refused to reveal whether the now-deleted tweet violates its policies. In an interview with the Washington Examiner, a Twitter spokesperson mentioned that since the tweet has been deleted, they had no power to evaluate it. Before now, LeBron James had completely avoided political matters. However, that all changed in 2012 when Trayvon Martin, an unarmed black teenager, was shot and killed by a man who avoided jail under Florida's Stand Your Ground law. In an interview with CNN in 2018, James revealed that the story hit a personal nerve when he realized that he had boys in his home and the thought that they could leave home home and never returned forced him to think about what that meant for the family of Martin. Since then, the players used every opportunity to talk about social issues, with the most prevalent being racial discrimination. Roughly seven years since he made the decision to use his voice for positive change, James has turned into one of the most influential sports personalities in the social and political space. In 2018, the player also produced a documentary named Shut Up and Dribble, which focused on the political engagement of black athletes. The title of the documentary was gotten from a Fox News commentator in regards to the comments of Donald Trump towards James. James also started a TV talk show with Maverick Carter, his longtime friend and business partner called The Shop, where he talked about all the trending social issues with other prominent individuals. In 2020, before the general U.S. elections, LeBron James launched the More Than a Vote program, where he recruited thousands of volunteers in preparation for the voting process. These volunteers were required to encourage black people all over the country to register to vote. Fortunately for the player, Trump was defeated by Democrat Joe Biden. LeBron James Injury Update The Lakers have been without James since he picked up a high ankle sprain injury on March 20th. However, according to recent reports, the player might be returning very soon. Jovan Bua of The Athletic reported that James is close to being back and he could be back in action this week or the next. Aside from LeBron James, the Lakers team has been without Anthony Davis for more than two months now, but the player returned for the last three games the team has played. When James returns, the Lakers team will once again be at full strength, and this would make them into a title contender for sure. Do you think this is the end of LeBron James' career as we know it, or do you think his return to the game will erase his mistake from the minds of fans? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, as you don't want to miss any of our videos. Thank you for watching. We are Courtside.